what's up guys it's your boy just might over here at producer push and in this video i'm going to show you guys how i mix and how i level my sounds and tracks so i'm just going to go into the mixer channel real quick and uh while i'm making a beat and arranging i usually pre-mix or not usually i pre-mix but once i start going down into actually mixing what i do is i select all my tracks i highlight them by hitting control and dragging my mouse in fl studio and then i bring everything down so essentially i'm starting from scratch uh, the second thing I do is I uh, make sure all my tracks are in mono. And the reason I do this is because when we export our sounds, songs, tracks, beats, projects, and people listen to them, they're not always listening on studio monitors or really nice headphones. They might just be listening on their uh, iPod, iPhone, Android, etc. So you want to make sure you mix in mono because if it sounds good in mono, then it sounds good in every system. So yeah, that's what I do. Just make sure when you're done to take it out of mono and you know bring it back but uh while we're mixing we're just going to keep it in mono um i have a unique style of mixing i can't i was taught by keanu b to produced on the migos album culture uh he produced the song what the price along with ricky Rax and 808 gods and the way he taught me how to mix was uh just mixing very low so what i do is i go to the master track and i add like a something like a limiter i usually use maximus but for this video i'm just going to use a fruity limiter make it simple so i turn the gain all the way up to 18 db uh, for the ceiling i put it to negative 0.3 so it doesn't i'm not peaking and uh yeah so what i do is i just uh start bringing down the sounds up until i hear like or hit a desirable level so i'm just gonna start playing the loop that i have right here on the playlist and uh, yeah, just get into it. So for the melodies, I like to keep them between negative 23 and negative 27 dB. That's just, I just feel like that works for me. So I'm just gonna start bringing this up. I'm not gonna be too precise in this uh, video. I'm just gonna kind of like do it quick and run through it. So for the piano, and you guys see how I'm kind of going up and down. I'm just, you know, trying to find where I want it at, where I want to place it at. So for the light flute, same thing. Now we're on the plucks. melody same thing and then now I go on to my drums uh, I skipped the 808 or the bass just because it's too distracting so I go straight on to the kicks for the kicks I like to keep them negative 13 to negative 14 dB um, this is a kick that I designed so I kind of already know like I like it at uh, negative 13 dB for the snares I like them negative 17 to negative 19 dB second clap so I'm just gonna put it a little bit lower than the first clap and I did that just so like you know make the clap hit harder I like layering sounds a lot of times um, for the percussion I really don't have a range so I just kind of play with it until I think it sounds good Symbols. 
fills in the beginning. And then the reverse symbol is also in the beginning, so. So yeah, once I'm done with uh, finding the levels, I, you know, just remember to put this out of mono. So this is how it sounds now. And then I would get into like further uh, mixing, I would probably like start EQing. Um, actually, you know what, I'll uh, do a little bit more mixing. For example, I like my kicks hitting a little bit harder than this, so. I'm probably gonna use a, just a stock plugin in FL Studio, a uh, fruity fast distortion. Not that much, of course, probably like around here. And then for the bass or 808, uh, where's the 808s? Oh, actually, you know what? We skipped the 808. <laughs> I forgot, I skipped the 808s just because it's distracting. But yeah, I like to keep the 808s like above the kick. I mean, below the kick, sorry, below the kick but above the melody. And the reason is because you don't want your you don't want your bass to overpower your your kick drum and you don't want it lower than your melody. So a good place in the middle. So let me just uh So for this uh this track I think a uh, negative 19 dB sounds fine. And then of course I'd add uh, some, uh, some distortion to the kick. Not that much. blood overdrive yeah and that's uh, pretty much it after this I would kind of start EQing and uh, you know cutting out frequencies and maybe adding some reverb in some places but for this video I just wanted to show you guys how I uh, mix and level and uh, yeah I'll let you guys hear a little bit of the um, track I was working on um, it's not too crazy it's just like something quick I was uh, making really I probably made this in like maybe one or two hours let's see oh three I well that's for the tutorial you know but um yeah let's just uh, play it real quick I added a gross beat in the beginning just so kind of had that dark intro and had it fade out and then gross beat I put it in half step but yeah i'm not gonna show you guys too much of the beat because that's not what you guys are here for you guys just uh wanted to check out how i mix so yeah that's my unique style and how i uh, level and mix my sounds hope you guys uh learn from this video and apply to some of the techniques in your own mixing styles and uh yeah that's pretty much it it's your boy just might and i'm out peace